Hey everybody, Model Man here, and the Mighty Godzilla. I'm about to do another round of putty on him, building up all the places where it gets flat on the model. So it's time for a new primer and see how this last batch went before the next batch goes on. It's Godzilla kicking off the inaugural festivities with the scale model aspect of this painting booth for which it was originally constructed. I had fully expected it to be the Mobius Jupiter II, but in addition to that model, whenever there's putty work to be done on that, the excess goes to Godzilla. And not too bad for a quick little session. I don't imagine the camera angle was too uh, helpful though. That's a fair amount of work done. I haven't really spent any time on the tail yet and I'm sure getting the inside loop there is going to be a little tough. A little more and a little bit. What I've been doing over the years is adding Ava's epoxy all along the flattened edges here and it's taken its time certainly. A lot of times I was worried more than it just like little round worms essentially crawling all over them. But as things have progressed, textures have started to come together and start to blend and I can also see where they're going to blend now as well. The deepest of the deeps is just as much as the ones that I've put down in that regard. A lot of the normal shapes are essentially those worms, but they're a bit more chiseled, and I almost would suspect that this was carved into a surface rather than plopped onto a flat surface like I'm doing now. One of the things I've noticed over the times is that a lot of these little shapes are just not all that great and would look a lot better if I could carve into them. As a first step I've gone in and kind of chiseled out all the dirt in between the seams that I've been leaving around here and there. Because there's one thing that should not be on this model is little blobs of dirt all in Godzilla's grooves. That'd probably be pretty uncomfortable. So step one is chiseling a few things away myself and I've only done a test region here. Step two, I'm going to try this aluminum brush and see how this fares. Unfortunately, the speed controller on my Dremel is broken, so it only works at one speed. And I know how this little aluminum can fly off, so I'm actually going to be wearing a mask. Uh, don't get plastic mixed in your Avas, that sucks. <laughs> 